Hey fam, welcome back to the channel. How are you guys doing on this Friday? I hope you guys are doing well. I'm about to go into the Walmart, but before I do, I want to touch on a couple of things. You know how I do, but I'll try to keep it short. First of all, they said today that Nancy Pelosi's husband was attacked early this morning with a hammer. A suspect has been arrested. Um, the person broke into the back of the home and was shouting, where is Nancy? Where is Nancy? At the time, Nancy was, I think, in D.C. She was not in their San Francisco home. Um, the husband, Paul... Pelosi and the suspect they fought um, the suspect got hold of the hammer that Paul had and he used it so Paul Pelosi is in the hospital recovering they said that he will make a good recovery or something like that um, they haven't said anything that I know about because I'm out and about violence is not the answer to solving our problems we can uh, agree to disagree with people and not believe in the things that they believe in but we need to not inflict violence and hatred and pain on other people that's all i'm going to say on that because it's just too much violence going on with all these school shootings um this person assaulting that person that person assaulting this person it's just all too much we have way too much going on in the world to be attacking each other the next thing I want to talk about is what's going on in China I did a video the other day on my other channel Tommy Bites TV talking about parts of China being back in a lockdown well even more are in a lockdown now ever since they got done with the whole congress thing that they do over there every five years um they are locking down even more people the numbers have risen to over 1300 um new cases so of course they have that zero COVID policy going on and that being said the parts that are locked down is not the part it's has, not the part that has the the ports shanghai is not on lockdown but guess who is on lockdown wuhan where everything took place originated from they are on lockdown again so things are getting worse over there hopefully it doesn't get any more worse where they want to lock down shanghai because they're already behind with these container shipments being sent out so you guys let's keep our fingers crossed on that 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 situation doesn't get any worse so in other news vladimir putin has made the statement that the ongoing war in ukraine is going to bring about a new world order and the biden administration is pushing that threat aside they don't find it I guess a credible threat um, but that's what they're saying to us in the media you think they're gonna come right out and say oh my god we think he can do it because what's gonna happen is I was reading an article the other day and it was saying that Moscow took out satellite their own satellite before the Ukraine war took place and that shows they have the capability to do and that. because they have the ability to do that and they showed us by taking out their own so that we could not see when they were moving forward into this whole ukraine war that they are in now and that we are assisting on the front lines with if you ask me but they're just training so um them having the ability to do that they do believe that if he were to go the route of nuclear that he would take out u.s satellites this would affect us in a major way we use those satellites for more than just military things we use those satellites when it comes to shipping they have a range that will go from those big container ships 
all the way up to the satellite and information is transferred back and forth that way do i think it could be a possible threat i do I don't put anything past anybody, especially when they've proven that they have no care for life or anything that resembles it. So you guys, that's all I'm going to do today in this intro. We are having a cloudy day here. The weather is no higher than 62 today. Um, it's not extremely cold or anything like that. And it feels really nice. A good day to get out in the garden. If you garden, if you don't garden, you might want to think about doing it. Don't let somebody talk you out of garden, even if you got to grow in a bucket. Food costs are expected to continue to rise. There will not be a decline in that at all. There will not be a decline in the fuel that you put in your vehicles. No decline in diesel as well. So continue to stock up continue to prep we're coming up on november 1st and let's remember we are going to try to do um a budget whatever your budget is make that your budget i'm going to try to do a 25 dollar budget every single week and the things that i get of course i'm donating to a food bank but i just want to show that you can accumulate a decent amount of food in a short amount of time so y'all take care let's go into the walmart guys i said in a previous video there will come a time where we won't be saying there is a food shortage but rather there is food but can i afford it so this is 987 for i believe two pounds nine dollars and 87 cents so it just continued on throughout the store with the high prices on the ground beef on the pork chops the chicken was slightly less than what they were charging when it came to the beef um, i couldn't record the chicken because there was a worker down there they did have turkeys in the store yeah this ground turkey is 9.96 and um you see how many pounds that is so yeah prices we're going to be dealing with this for a long time um they did have turkeys like i said the prices of the turkeys depending on what you were getting they were a little more affordable but it wasn't a huge turkey or anything like that you probably would have to buy two of them and all of that stuff adds up adds up the best thing i found in this store was the fact that every time i go in a store i am looking for all washing detergent because that is all my youngest child can use and normally i can only find the liquid i'm trying to stock up on powder because it lasts way longer and that is the one thing that doesn't break their skin out i looked up today this store in lenore north carolina had three three containers of powdered all and i promise you i got all three of them let me know if your store sell these um emergency food kits uh so canned goods these little beanie weenies right here used to be i think 50 cent they're 88 cent now and i saw something else that used to be 50 cent i can't remember offhand but you guys these prices are going up penny by penny and let me tell you, those pennies will break the bank. There we go. Vienna sausages. These used to be 50 cent. I don't know how much they cost in Aldi. I'm going to have to go check it out. But they did have the cooked ham in there. If that's another option for you. They had um, ramen noodles. They had gaps with the noodles. But they did have pasta there. They didn't have a lot of pasta sauce, however. And so, yeah, you're still going to see gaps you might not see completely empty shelves, but you are going to see some gaps and you're definitely going to see those high prices. So keep stocking up and doing what you need to do. Um, sugar, if you can get your sugar, go ahead and get it. The bigger the bag, the better. Store it up, put it away so you have it for that rainy day. So here in North Carolina, eggs are running about the same $11 or maybe 60 cents. But in South Carolina, they are now almost $13 for the 60 box. Still running low on baby formula. 
So y'all, for you guys, I walked all the way across the store. I cannot stand doing that, but I did it because I wanted you to see that you can get a tent and not too expensive. You can get one, put it up in your house. You know, if your power goes out, if you don't have that space and you want to hold that heat in, that's something you could do. Getting a first aid kit is another thing you need to add. Some paracord, um, water bottles, especially the ones with the filter in them. Think about adding cookware that you can actually cook over a fire, whether it be a cast iron skillet or one of these um, pots right here that you can boil water in. This is a portable gas grill, small, something that you might actually need. And here are the Sterno bottles. Thank you guys for coming in. I love you, but God loves you more. He created only one. You be the best you that you can be when you are. Go out and spread God's love. Hey y'all, how y'all doing? How, how y'all doing on this Friday? It's Friday. Y'all should be doing pretty good. So, ha, have y'all been out there shopping? What what you buying? Are you buying your turkeys? Can you find them? Can you afford them? Are you getting your tissues? You know your tissues for your booty. Are you are you stocking up your house? You getting ready for this cold weather? These rolling blackouts that might be happening. Are y'all doing that? Because if you're not, you need to go ahead and start, okay? Now, I'm going to go because Tommy had me come in here. I'm her cousin. So, I talked to y'all. Yeah, my name's Jeannie. Okay, bye.